Reinforcement learning is something that um, is currently um, under um, explosive development and um, it's, it's a very exciting field of uh, research um, and in this case you have applications whose um, focus is, is on a sequence of, of actions. Um, in such a case a single action is not important. What's important really is the um, policy that a sequence of correct actions really gives you to reach your goal. Um, there is no such thing as, uh, for example, a best action, you know, in, in the next step. Uh, an action is only good if it's part of a, of a good policy, of a, of a fruitful sequence of um, uh, several different actions. And um, um, examples here is, is really one, one very easy to understand example is, is game playing. Uh, you have um, very often nowadays um, in uh, collective games, but also in, in single player games, you have um, either uh, teammates or um, adversaries which are uh, really AI driven. Uh, they, they have uh, really learned um, to be competitive players uh, based on what other players have, um, uh, have played. And the point here is not necessarily what's the next move they make, but what would be their sequence of moves or, or the overall strategy to try to win alongside you or, or maybe against you. Another example is a robot in a maze. Um, it, it might be that uh, that robot uh, equipped with a video camera um, has really unreliable and, and partial sensory information. For example, it has um, really incomplete information and, and sometimes uh, it cannot really uh, know the exact location in a room but only has the information that there is a wall to its left and, and, and you would like uh, this robot to explore somewhat um, the space and see whether uh, at the end of some um, shorter uh, uh, exploration is going to get into a more advantageous location in that maze. Uh, you might also have a task which requires the concurrent oper operation of um, multiple agents that should interact and cooperate to accomplish a common goal. And uh, one example that I alluded to is really a uh, soccer game, a uh, football game, where some of the teammates are AI driven or um, sometimes you, you have uh, uh, robots playing uh, football. That, 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 that's also a good example of such uh, reinforcement uh, learning. And so the point in this case is that, again, there is, there is no such thing as the best action in any intermediate state, um, but the point is really to learn good policies, good sequences of, of actions that reach to an overall optimization of your goal. And so the machine learning program in this case should be able to assess the goodness of policies and learn from past good, good action sequences to be able to generate a policy. And, and this is what typically is uh, grouped together under um, re reinforcement learning.